In this video on Stoic philosophy with introspection and personal growth, we invite you to immerse yourself in the profound teachings of the great Stoic philosophers for an hour. We will explore reflections on life, happiness, and mastery over our emotions and actions that have endured over time thanks to Stoicism. We invite you to stay until the end where you will find valuable phrases to strengthen all your plans in the face of any moment in life. If it's your first time on my channel, I ask you to help me by subscribing and liking the video so I can continue creating more content like this in the future. Get ready for an inner journey where we will discover how to face the challenges of the world with serenity and inner strength. We will delve into the timeless words of Stoicism figures such as Seneca, Epictetus and Marcus Aurelius, who will guide us towards a deeper understanding of ourselves and the universe around us. Discover the principles of Stoicism and learn to apply them in your modern life with our ebook Stoic Mindset. A guide for contemporary living. Click on the link in the first pinned comment to get it right now. Join us in this experience of inspiration and reflection as we explore Stoic philosophy and seek to apply its principles in our daily lives. It's time to nourish the soul and cultivate a more resilient and wise mindset. When you wake up in the morning, think about what a privilege it is to be alive, to think, to enjoy, and to love. You have power over your mind, not external events. Recognize this and you will find strength. Start each day by telling yourself, Today I will meet with interference, ingratitude, insolence, disloyalty, ill will, and selfishness. All of them due to the offender's ignorance of what is good or evil. Reflect on the beauty of life, observe the stars, and see yourself running with them. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. Don't waste any more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. If someone can show me that what I think or do is not right, I will gladly change, for I seek the truth by which no one has ever been truly harmed. It is the person who continues in his self-deception and ignorance who is harmed. Hope is a waking dream. Excellence is never an accident. It is always the result of high intention, sincere effort, and intelligent execution. It represents the wise choice of many alternatives. Choice, not chance, determines your destiny. He who has overcome his fears will be truly free. He who delights in solitude is either a wild beast or a god. Know thyself is the beginning of all wisdom. It is a sign of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. To educate the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. No great mind has ever existed without a touch of madness. Happiness depends upon ourselves. Anyone can achieve it. It's easy. But to be angry with the right person, to the right degree, at the right time, for the right purpose, and in the right way, that is not easy, nor is it within everyone's power. The measure of a man is what he does with power. Ignorance is the root and stem of all evil. If we expect women to do the same work as men, we must teach them the same things. I'm trying to think, don't confuse me with facts. There is truth in wine and in children. Those who tell the stories rule society. Human behavior comes from three main sources, desire, emotion, and knowledge. The madness of love is the greatest of heaven's blessings. To educate is to teach our children to desire the right things. Be kind, for everyone you meet is fighting a harder battle. Each heart sings a song incomplete until another heart whispers back. Those who wish to sing always find a song. At the touch of a lover, everyone becomes a poet. The wise speak because they have something to say. Fools because they have to say something. We can easily forgive a child who is afraid of the dark. The real tragedy of life is when men are afraid of the light. This profound statement by Plato highlights the enduring struggle between fear and enlightenment. Throughout history, fear has often hindered progress and kept individuals from embracing new ideas and opportunities. However, those who courageously step into the light of knowledge and understanding often find liberation and fulfillment. Only the dead have seen the end of war. This poignant observation by Plato reflects the grim reality of conflict throughout human history. Wars have ravaged civilizations, claiming countless lives and leaving behind immeasurable suffering and destruction. Despite efforts to achieve peace, the specter of war continues to haunt humanity, reminding us of the fragility of peace and the enduring need for diplomacy and cooperation. The price good men pay for indifference to public affairs is to be ruled by evil men. These words by Plato underscore the importance of civic engagement and the responsibility of citizens to actively participate in the governance of their society. When individuals become apathetic or complacent towards public affairs, they risk allowing unscrupulous leaders to seize power and impose their own agendas. 
often to the detriment of the common good. Do not educate a child to be rich. Educate him to be happy. So when he grows up, he'll know the value of things, not the price. This wise counsel emphasizes the importance of prioritizing personal fulfillment and emotional well-being over material wealth. True happiness lies not in the accumulation of possessions, but in the richness of experiences, relationships, and inner contentment. By instilling values of gratitude, empathy, and resilience in children, we empower them to navigate life's challenges with grace and authenticity. To accurately discover each one's peculiar inclination of genius, wanting to be friends is quick, but friendship is a fruit that ripens slowly. Plato's reflection on the nature of friendship highlights the depth and complexity of human relationships. While initial connections may form swiftly, true friendship requires time, trust, and mutual understanding to flourish. Like a ripening fruit, genuine friendship evolves gradually, deepening with shared experiences and mutual respect. Happiness is the meaning and purpose of life, the ultimate goal of human existence. This profound assertion by Plato encapsulates the universal quest for fulfillment and meaning. Across cultures and epochs, humanity has sought to understand the nature of happiness and to cultivate lives filled with joy, purpose, and contentment. While the pursuit of happiness may take many forms, its significance remains a central tenet of human existence. A friend of all is a friend of none. This astute observation by Aristotle speaks to the complexities of social dynamics and the inherent limitations of trying to please everyone. While it may be tempting to seek universal approval, true friendship requires authenticity, loyalty, and shared values. Shared. By forging genuine connections based on mutual respect and understanding, we cultivate meaningful relationships that enrich our lives. Science is bitter, but its fruit is sweet. This insightful aphorism acknowledges the challenges and sacrifices inherent in the pursuit of knowledge and understanding. Scientific inquiry often demands rigorous discipline, perseverance, and intellectual humility. Yet the discoveries and advancements that emerge from this pursuit have the power to revolutionize our understanding of the world and improve the human condition. Those who educate children well are more worthy of honor than those who merely gave them life, for the latter only gave them life while the former taught them the art of living well. This profound reflection by Aristotle underscores the transformative impact of education on individual lives and society as a whole. While parents provide the gift of existence, educators play a vital role in shaping the minds, values, and character of future generations. By imparting knowledge, instilling virtues, and fostering critical thinking skills, educators empower young people to navigate the complexities of the world with wisdom and integrity. The greatest penalty for refusing to rule is being ruled by someone inferior to yourself. According to Greek mythology, humans were originally created with four arms, four legs, and a head with two faces. Fearing their power, Zeus split them into two separate parts, condemning them to spend their lives in search of their other halves. I am the wisest man alive, for I know one thing, and that is that I know nothing. Never discourage anyone who continues to make progress no matter how slow. Love is a serious mental illness. One of the penalties for refusing to participate in politics is that you end up being governed by your inferiors. Good people do not need laws to tell them how to act decently, while bad people will find a way to evade the laws. If it's not right, don't do it. If it's not true, don't say it. It takes very little to make a happy life. It's all within yourself, in your way of thinking. I have often wondered how it is that every man loves himself more than all the rest of men but yet sets less value on his own opinion of himself than on the opinion of others. Every time you are about to find fault with someone, ask yourself the following question. What fault of mine most resembles the one I am about to criticize? The aim of life is not to side with the majority, but to avoid finding oneself in the ranks of the insane. The best revenge is not to be like your enemy. Reject your sense of injury and the injury itself will disappear. There are three classes of men, Lovers of wisdom, lovers of honor, and lovers of gain. Courage is knowing what not to fear. In politics, we presume that everyone who knows how to get votes knows how to administer a city or a state. When we are ill, we do not ask for the handsomest physician or the most eloquent one. You should not honor men more than truth. There are two things a person should never be angry at, what they can help and what they cannot. When men speak ill of you, live so that nobody will believe them. It is the most important part of the work how you can show that at this moment we are sleeping and all our thoughts are a dream, or if we are awake and talking to each other in the waking state. 
The object of education is to teach us to love what is beautiful. A house that has a library has a soul. Necessity is the mother of invention. Those who can see beyond the shadows and lies of their culture will never be understood, let alone believed by the masses. Death is not the worst thing that can happen to men. The greatest wealth is to live content with little. Physical exercise, when compulsory, does no harm to the body. But knowledge that is acquired under compulsion obtains no hold on the mind. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. No man should bring children into the world if he is unwilling to persevere to the end in their nature and education. Characters are simply long-lasting habits. An empty vessel makes more noise, so those with less wit are the most talkative. Excellence is not a gift, but a skill that is honed through practice. We do not act rightly because we are excellent, but rather we achieve excellence by acting rightly. Musical innovation is full of danger to the state, for when modes of music change, the fundamental laws of the state also change. You are my star, as well as a stargazer, and I wish to be the sky with a billion eyes to watch you. This romantic sentiment reflects the deep admiration and affection one person holds for another. Comparing a loved one to a star highlights their brilliance and uniqueness, while aspiring to be the sky signifies the desire to encompass and protect them with unwavering devotion. The imagery of a billion eyes emphasizes the depth of the connection, suggesting an infinite capacity for admiration and attentiveness. Love is simply the name for the desire and the pursuit of the whole. This profound observation by Plato delves into the essence of love as an all-encompassing force that drives individuals towards completeness and unity. Love transcends mere affection or attachment, encompassing a profound longing for connection and fulfillment. Whether romantic, familial, or platonic, love inspires individuals to seek wholeness through deep emotional bonds and shared experiences. People are like dirt. They can either nourish you and help you grow as a person, or they can stunt your growth and make you wither and die. This metaphorical comparison underscores the profound impact of interpersonal relationships on personal development and well-being. Just as soil can either nurture or hinder the growth of plants, the individuals we surround ourselves with can either support our growth and flourishing or inhibit it. Choosing positive influences and fostering healthy connections is essential for cultivating a fulfilling and enriching life. Good actions give strength to ourselves and inspire good actions in others. Aristotle's insight highlights the reciprocal nature of virtuous behavior and its transformative power. Engaging in acts of kindness, compassion, and integrity not only strengthens one's own character, but also has a ripple effect, inspiring others to emulate similar behavior. By leading by example and embodying virtuous principles, individuals can contribute to the creation of a more ethical and harmonious society. The soul carries nothing with it to the next world. Education and culture at the beginning of the journey towards the next world can either provide the greatest assistance or act as the greatest burden for the person who has just passed away. This reflection on the afterlife emphasizes the transient nature of material possessions and earthly attachments. While the soul transcends physical belongings, the values, knowledge, and cultural influences accumulated during life can profoundly impact the journey beyond. Whether they serve as guides or hindrances, the lessons learned and the virtues cultivated in this life shape the soul's passage to the next. A hero is born among one hundred, a wise man is found among one, but a consummate man may not even be found among one hundred thousand men. This thought-provoking statement by Confucius highlights the rarity and distinction of true excellence. While heroes and wise individuals may emerge occasionally, Achieving consummate mastery in one's endeavors is exceedingly rare and elusive. Such individuals embody unparalleled skill, wisdom, and virtue, serving as exemplars for humanity's highest aspirations. I will teach children music, physical education, and philosophy. But the most important is music because music patterns all the arts, which are the keys to learning. This declaration by Plato underscores the profound role of music in shaping the development of young minds. Beyond mere entertainment, music serves as a universal language that stimulates cognitive, emotional, and social growth. By integrating music into education, Plato recognized its unique ability to enhance creativity, critical thinking, and cultural appreciation, laying the foundation for well-rounded and intellectually curious individuals. Poets are for great and wise things that they themselves do not understand. This enigmatic statement reflects the mysterious and transcendent nature of poetic inspiration. Poets often channel profound truths and insights that transcend their own understanding, 
tapping into a deeper reservoir of collective wisdom and universal truths. Through their artistry and intuition, poets illuminate the human experience, inviting readers to contemplate the mysteries of existence and the complexities of the human condition. Perception is suffering. The more you know, the more you realize that you don't know. The energy of the mind is the essence of life. It is during our darkest moments that we must focus to see the light. He who cannot be a good follower cannot be a good leader. Without friends, no one would want to live, even if they had all other goods. I consider him braver who overcomes his desires than him who conquers his enemies, for the hardest victory is over oneself. Poverty is the mother of revolution and crime. The objective of art is to represent not the outward appearance of things but their inner meaning. It is not enough to win a war. It is more important to organize peace. The antidote for fifty enemies is one friend. The man of high mentality should care more for the truth than for what people think. Pleasure in the job puts perfection in the work. One swallow does not make a summer, nor does one fine day. Similarly, one day or a brief moment of happiness does not make a person completely happy. To write well, express yourself like ordinary people, but think like a wise man. The whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Learning is not child's play. We cannot learn without pain. Man is by nature a social animal. An individual who is unsocial naturally and not accidentally is either beneath our notice or more than human. Society is something that precedes the individual. Anyone who cannot lead the common life or is so self-sufficient that they do not need to do so, and therefore does not partake of society, is either a beast or a god. All human actions have one or more of these seven causes. Chance, nature, compulsion, habit, reason, passion, and desire. It is not always the same thing to be a good man and a good citizen. Dignity does not consist in possessing honors, but in the consciousness that we deserve them. Nature does nothing in vain. All paid jobs absorb and degrade the mind. Wise men speak because they have something to say. Fools because they have to say something. Misfortune shows those who are truly friends. Your talents and the needs of the world intersect. There lies your vocation. Learning is an ornament in prosperity, a refuge in adversity, and a provision in old age. Excellence is an art won by training and habituation. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act but a habit. If something external afflicts you, the pain is not due to the thing itself but to your evaluation of it, and this you have the power to revoke at any moment. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. The best revenge is not to be like the one who committed the injury. Accept the things to which fate binds you, and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. The soul is dyed by the color of its thoughts. Death is not what a man should fear but rather never beginning to live. Our life is what our thoughts make it. Never let the future disturb you. You will meet it, if necessary, with the same weapons of reason which today arm you against the present. An aim is not always meant to be reached. It often serves simply as something to aim at. Always be yourself. Express yourself. Have faith in yourself. Do not go out and look for a successful personality and duplicate it. Compassion is more than the principle of justice. It can guard us against being unjust to our fellow beings. This profound statement highlights the transformative power of compassion in shaping ethical behavior and fostering empathy towards others. While justice provides a framework for fairness and equity, compassion extends beyond mere adherence to rules and regulations, prompting individuals to consider the needs and suffering of others. By cultivating compassion, we not only mitigate the risk of perpetrating injustice but also actively work towards creating a more compassionate and equitable society. Use only that which works and take it from any place where you find it. This pragmatic approach emphasizes the importance of practicality and resourcefulness in problem-solving. Instead of being bound by rigid ideologies or conventions, individuals are encouraged to adopt a flexible mindset and draw upon diverse sources of knowledge and expertise. By embracing innovation and adaptability, we can harness the most effective solutions from a variety of sources, ultimately enhancing our ability to address complex challenges and achieve desired outcomes. Be not tense but ready, not thinking but aware, not configured but flexible. Release from the uncomfortable sensation of to be confined, to be wholly and calmly alive, conscious and alert, ready for whatever may come. This guidance offers a holistic approach to cultivating mindfulness and resilience in the face of uncertainty. By fostering a state of relaxed readiness and heightened awareness, 
Individuals can navigate life's challenges with grace and adaptability. Embracing flexibility and openness enables us to respond to changing circumstances with clarity and composure, fostering a sense of inner peace and vitality. A quick temper will make you a fool quite quickly. This timeless wisdom warns against the destructive consequences of impulsivity and anger. While anger may provide a temporary release of tension, it often leads to regrettable actions and strained relationships. By cultivating emotional intelligence and self-control, individuals can mitigate the harmful effects of anger and cultivate healthier ways of managing conflict and frustration. Note that the stiffest tree cracks more easily, whereas bamboo or willow survive by bending with the wind. This metaphorical reflection underscores the resilience and adaptability inherent in flexibility. Like supple bamboo or willow trees, individuals who embrace flexibility and adaptability are better equipped to weather life's storms and overcome adversity. By remaining open to change and willing to bend rather than break, we can cultivate greater resilience and thrive in the face of challenges. A good teacher protects his students from his own influence. This insightful observation acknowledges the importance of fostering independent thinking and autonomy in education. Rather than imposing their own biases or perspectives onto students, effective teachers empower learners to think critically and form their own conclusions. By creating a supportive and inclusive learning environment, teachers can inspire curiosity, creativity, and intellectual growth. Empty your cup so it can be filled, become empty to gain wholeness. This Zen teaching emphasizes the importance of humility and openness in personal growth and self-discovery. By letting go of preconceived notions and attachments, individuals create space for new insights and experiences to enrich their lives. Embracing a mindset of receptivity and curiosity enables us to continually evolve and expand our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Defeat is not defeat unless accepted as reality in your own mind, because it is easy to criticize and destroy the spirit of others but to know oneself takes a lifetime. This profound reflection challenges conventional notions of success and failure, highlighting the subjective nature of defeat. While setbacks and challenges are inevitable in life, true defeat only occurs when we internalize failure and allow it to undermine our sense of self-worth and resilience. By cultivating self-awareness and resilience, individuals can navigate adversity with resilience and maintain a sense of inner strength and purpose. The great mistake is to anticipate the outcome of the engagement. You should not be thinking whether it ends in victory or defeat. Let nature take its course and your tools will strike at the right moment. This Zen principle encourages individuals to relinquish attachment to outcomes and embrace the flow of life with equanimity. By releasing expectations and surrendering to the present moment, individuals can act with greater spontaneity and effectiveness. Trusting in the natural unfolding of events enables us to respond skillfully to the challenges and opportunities that arise, ultimately leading to more meaningful and fulfilling outcomes. When others blame you or hate you, or people express similar criticisms, go into their souls, penetrate inside, and see what kind of people they are. You must realize that there is no need to distress oneself about the opinion they hold of you. The first rule is to maintain an undisturbed spirit. The second is to look things straight in the face and know them for what they are. How much more grievous are the consequences of anger than its causes? Do not act as if you were going to live 10,000 years. Death is stalking you. While you live, while it is in your power, be good. It is not daily increase, but daily decrease. Hack away the unessential. Adapt what is useful, reject what is useless, and add what is specifically your own. Do not be confined to any particular form. Adapt it. Build your own and let it grow. Be like water. If you love life, do not waste time, for time is what life is made up of. Be happy, but never satisfied. The more one values things, the less value one has oneself. With circumstances, I create opportunities. The successful warrior is the average man with a laser-like focus. Do not fear failure, not failure, but low aim is the crime. In great attempts, it is glorious even to fail. Time means a lot to me because, you see, I am also a learner and am often lost in the joy of always improving. No man was ever wise by chance. Until we begin to reduce them, we do not realize how many things are unnecessary. We have been using them not because we needed them, but because we had them. They squander the day in expectation of the night, and the night in fear of dawn. Associate with people who are likely to improve you. He suffers more than necessary who suffers before it is necessary. I will never be ashamed to quote a bad author if the line is good. Only time can heal what reason cannot. 
Ignorance is the cause of fear. Procrastination is the greatest waste of life. It steals each day as it comes and denies us the present by promising the future. The greatest obstacle to living is expectation which depends on the future and misses the present. You are fixing what is under the control of destiny and abandoning what is in your hands. What are you looking at? What goal are you striving towards? The whole future is full of uncertainty. Live immediately. As long as you live, keep learning how to live. This timeless wisdom underscores the importance of lifelong learning and personal growth. In a rapidly changing world, individuals who remain open to new experiences and perspectives are better equipped to navigate life's challenges and seize opportunities for self-improvement. By cultivating a mindset of curiosity and adaptability, we can continue to evolve and thrive throughout our lives. The most powerful is he who has control over himself. This profound insight highlights the significance of self-mastery and emotional intelligence in achieving personal and professional success. True power stems not from external dominance or control over others, but from inner strength and self-discipline. By cultivating self-awareness and self-control, individuals can harness their potential and effectively navigate the complexities of life with grace and integrity. Life is like a play. It is not the length but the excellence of the performance that matters. This metaphorical comparison invites reflection on the quality and significance of our actions and achievements. Rather than measuring success solely in terms of longevity or accumulation, we are encouraged to prioritize excellence and integrity in all our endeavors. By striving for excellence and living with purpose and passion, we can create meaningful and fulfilling lives that leave a lasting impact on others. Wealth is a slave to the wise man, but a master to the fool. This insightful observation highlights the importance of wisdom and discernment in managing wealth and material possessions. While wealth can provide opportunities and comfort, it can also become a source of greed and corruption if not wielded responsibly. True wealth lies not in accumulation, but in the wise stewardship of resources for the betterment of oneself and others. Enjoy present pleasures in such a way as not to harm future ones. This admonition encourages a balanced approach to indulging in life's pleasures while maintaining a sense of responsibility and foresight. By practicing moderation and mindfulness, individuals can savor the present moment without sacrificing long-term well-being and happiness. Cultivating habits of self-care and prudence ensures that present enjoyment does not come at the expense of future fulfillment. If you live in harmony with nature, you will never be poor. If you live according to what others think, you will never be rich. This reflection emphasizes the importance of aligning our values and priorities with the rhythms of nature and our inner convictions. True abundance stems from living authentically and in harmony with our environment, rather than succumbing to societal pressures or external expectations. By cultivating a sense of inner richness and contentment, Individuals can transcend the pursuit of material wealth and find true fulfillment in living according to their own truths. The real life is to live for others. This profound sentiment speaks to the inherent interconnectedness of humanity and the importance of compassion and service in leading a meaningful existence. By prioritizing the well-being and happiness of others, individuals can transcend self-interest and cultivate a sense of purpose and fulfillment that extends beyond personal gain. True fulfillment lies in making meaningful contributions to the lives of others and fostering a sense of community and interconnectedness. The key to immortality is first to live a life worth remembering. This thought-provoking statement challenges individuals to consider the legacy they wish to leave behind and the impact they want to make on the world. By living with purpose, integrity, and compassion, individuals can create a lasting legacy that transcends the boundaries of time and mortality. Whether through acts of kindness, creativity, or leadership, each person has the power to shape their own immortality through the way they choose to live their lives. Have no path as your path. Have no limitation as your limitation. This Zen-inspired philosophy encourages individuals to embrace freedom and spontaneity in their journey through life. Rather than adhering rigidly to predefined paths or limitations, we are encouraged to cultivate a sense of openness and possibility. By releasing attachment to outcomes and embracing the flow of life, we can navigate uncertainty with grace and creativity, forging our own unique paths towards fulfillment and growth. The idea is that flowing water never stagnates, so keep flowing. This metaphorical reflection underscores the importance of adaptability and resilience in navigating life's challenges. Like flowing water, individuals who remain flexible and open to change are better able to overcome obstacles and thrive in dynamic environments. 
by embracing change as a natural and inevitable part of life, we can cultivate a sense of fluidity and grace that enables us to navigate life's currents with ease and resilience. Knowledge will give you power but character respect. This profound observation highlights the distinction between intellectual prowess and moral integrity. While knowledge can empower individuals with skills and understanding, it is character that earns admiration and trust from others. True respect stems not from intellectual superiority, but from embodying virtues such as honesty, compassion, and integrity in all our interactions and endeavors. As you think, so you become. This timeless wisdom underscores the profound influence of thoughts and beliefs on our actions and outcomes in life. By cultivating positive and constructive thinking patterns, individuals can empower themselves to manifest their goals and aspirations. Through self-awareness and intentional thought, we can shape our reality and become the architects of our own destiny. Errors are always forgivable if one has the courage to correct them. This compassionate perspective on mistakes and failures encourages individuals to embrace a growth mindset and learn from their experiences. Rather than dwelling on past mistakes or shortcomings, we are encouraged to acknowledge them with humility and courageously seek solutions and opportunities for improvement. By embracing failure as a natural and inevitable part of the learning process, individuals can cultivate resilience and evolve into stronger, wiser versions of themselves. I'm not afraid of the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. This insightful observation by Bruce Lee highlights the importance of depth and mastery in achieving excellence. While proficiency may be achieved through repetition, true mastery requires dedication, discipline, and a willingness to continually refine one's skills. By investing time and effort into honing our craft, we can cultivate expertise and confidence that transcends mere repetition. A good teacher protects his pupils from his own influence. Empty your cup so that it may be filled, become devoid to gain totality. Defeat is not defeat unless accepted as a reality in your own mind. It's easy to criticize and destroy the spirit of others, but to know oneself takes a whole lifetime. The great mistake is to anticipate the outcome of the engagement. You ought not to be thinking of whether it ends in victory or defeat. Let nature take its course, and your tools will strike at the right moment. When others blame or hate you, or people express similar criticisms, Go to their souls, penetrate inside, and see what kind of people they are. You should realize that there is no need to distress yourself for the opinion they have of you. The first rule is to keep an untroubled spirit. The second is to look things in the face and know them for what they are. The more serious the consequences of anger, the more necessary it is to control it. Act as if you were to live for 10,000 years. The fear of death follows from the fear of life. A man who lives fully is prepared to die at any time. Wherever you are and whatever you do, be an impeccable performer. First learn the meaning of what you say and then speak. Nothing great is created suddenly any more than a bunch of grapes or a fig. If you tell me you desire a fig, I answer you that there must be time. Let it first blossom, then bear fruit, and then ripen. People are not disturbed by things but by the view they take of them. He who does not regard what he has as most ample wealth is unhappy, though he be master of the world. When your thoughts, words, and actions form a seamless whole, you simplify your efforts and thus eliminate worry and fear. It's time to stop being lazy if you want to be an extraordinary person. If you want to be wise, then you must explicitly identify the kind of person you aspire to be. There is only one way to happiness, and that is to cease worrying about things that are beyond the power of our will. Prosperous life cannot be achieved until we moderate our desires and see how superficial and fleeting they are. No man is free who is not master of himself. Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. Freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is attained by disregarding the things that are beyond our control. We cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. Do not explain your philosophy in the channel. If you seek the truth, you will not seek to win a victory by every possible means, and when you have found the truth, you will not need to fear being defeated. Let silence be your general rule or dis only what is necessary and in few words. First know who you are and then act accordingly. First tell yourself what you would like to be and then do what you have to do. Circumstances do not make the man. They only reveal him to himself. The word superstar is an illusion. Only the self-sufficient are alone. Most people follow the crowd and imitate all the fixed and established patterns. They are incapable of adaptability or flexibility. Truth is outside of all fixed patterns. 
The living creature, the individual creator, is always more important than any style or system established. Self-awareness is the greatest obstacle to the proper execution of any physical action. Emptiness is what lies right in the middle between this and that. Emptiness includes everything. It has no opposite. There is nothing it excludes or opposes to it. It is a living void because all forms arise from it. And whoever realizes emptiness is filled with life, power, and love for all beings. Remember, no man is truly defeated unless when one is discouraged. Art reaches its highest peak when it is devoid of self-awareness. Freedom discovers man at the moment he loses concern for the impression he is causing or about to cause. Emotion can be the enemy. If you indulge in your emotions, you lose yourself. You must be in harmony with your emotions because the body always follows the mind. The only true wisdom is in knowing that you know nothing. The unexamined life is not worth living. I cannot teach anyone anything. I can only make them think. There is only good and bad ignorance. Wonder is the beginning of wisdom. Strong minds discuss ideas. Average minds discuss events. Weak minds discuss people. To find yourself, think for yourself. Education is the kindling of a flame, not the filling of a vessel. He who is not content with what he has would not be content with what he would like to have. Be slow to make friends, but once inside remain firm and steady. If you do not get what you want, you suffer. If you get what you do not want, you suffer. Even when you get exactly what you want, you still suffer because you cannot hold on to it forever. Your mind is your dilemma. It wants to be free from change, free from pain, free from the obligations of life and death. But change is law and no pretense will alter that reality. The beginning of wisdom is the definition of terms. You should never return evil for evil nor mistreat any man, no matter how he may have mistreated you. What really matters is not to live but to live well. And to live well means, along with more pleasant things in life, to live according to your principles. The easiest and noblest way is not to crush others but to improve oneself. The richest is he who is content with the least, for contentment is the wealth of nature. Sometimes you raise walls not to keep people out, but to see who cares enough to knock them down. No man has the right to be an amateur in physical training. It is a shame for a man to grow old without seeing the beauty and strength of which his body is capable. When the debate is lost, slander becomes the tool of the loser. The secret of happiness, you see, is not found in seeking more, but in developing the capacity to enjoy less. Know thyself, for he who wants to move the world must first move himself. Contentment is natural wealth. Luxury is artificial poverty. Employ your time in improving yourself by the writings of others, so that you shall gain easily what others have labored hard for. The only good is knowledge, and the only evil is ignorance. Do not do to others what angers you if done to you by others. True wisdom comes to each of us when we realize how little we understand about life, ourselves, and the world around us. Out of the deepest desires often comes the deadliest hate. Be kinder than necessary to everyone you meet. Everyone is fighting some kind of battle. If you want to be a good horseman, tame the worst horse. For if you control one, you control all. Take care of your psyche. Know thyself. For once we know ourselves, we can learn how to take care of ourselves. The most passionate love has the coldest end. Life contains two tragedies. One is not to get your heart's desire, the other is to get it. Envy is the ulcer of the soul. The greatest way to live with honor in this world is to be what we pretend to be. I know I am intelligent because I know that I know nothing. Each action has its pleasures and its price. Prefer knowledge to wealth, for one is transitory and the other perpetual. We cannot live better than by seeking to be better. We can easily forgive a child who is afraid of the dark. The real tragedy of life is when men are afraid of the light. Beware the barrenness of a busy life. To understand a question is half of an answer. Act as mortals in all that they fear and as immortals in all that they desire. Hold fast to your youthful enthusiasms. You will be able to use them better when you are older. If a man does not know to which port he is sailing, no wind is favorable. The power of the mind is to be invincible. It is not that we have so little time, but that we waste so much. The life we receive is not short, but we make it so. We are not poorly provided for, but we use what we have wastefully. It is not the man who has, but the man who craves more that is poor. Start immediately to live and count each separate day as a separate life. He who is brave is free. Why cry over parts of life? All of it requires tears. If you really want to escape from the things that harass you, what you need is not to be in a different place, but to be a different person. 
Sometimes even to live is an act of courage. True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence on the future. We should not amuse ourselves or with hopes or fears, but be satisfied with what we have, which is sufficient. Those who are like this desire nothing. The greatest blessings of humanity are within us and within our reach. A wise man is content with his lot, whatever it may be, without desiring what he does not have. Luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. All cruelty arises from weakness. There is no easy path from the earth to the stars. Difficulty strengthens the mind as labor does the body. We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. As is a tale, so is life. Not how long it is, but how good it is, matters. When you wake up in the morning, tell yourself, the people I deal with today will be meddling, ungrateful, arrogant, dishonest, jealous, and surly. They are like this because they cannot distinguish good from evil. But I have seen the beauty of good and the ugliness of evil, and have recognized that the wrongdoer has a nature related to mine. Not of the same blood and birth, but of the same mind, and possessing a share of the divine. And so none of them can harm me. No one can implicate me in ugliness, nor can I feel angry at my relative or hate him. We were born to work together like feet, hands, and eyes, like the two rows of teeth, upper and lower. To obstruct each other is unnatural. To feel anger at someone, to turn your back on him. These are obstructions. The path to success is fraught with many tempting places to park. What makes you unique is what makes you attractive. It's important that we forgive ourselves for making mistakes. We need to learn from our mistakes and move forward. Pain makes you stronger. Tears make you braver. Heartbreak makes you wiser. So thank the past for a better future. Most people spend more time and energy avoiding problems than trying to solve them. Absorb what is useful, discard what is useless, and add what is specifically your own. Just when the caterpillar thought the world was ending, it became a butterfly. It's the little details that are vital. The little things make the big things happen. We build too many walls and not enough bridges. I don't think you have to be better than everyone else. I think you have to be better than you ever thought you could be. Your past does not define you. It only gives you a starting point of who you're going to be. Sometimes you'll never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. The only place where success comes before work is in the dictionary. Often any decision, even the wrong decision, is better than no decision. Don't raise your voice. Improve your argument. We may encounter many defeats, but we must not be defeated. I am not a product of my circumstances. I am a product of my decisions. The truth is not for everyone, but only for those who seek it. The first duty of a man is to think for himself. To succeed, jump as quickly at opportunities as you do at conclusions. You can't change what you are, only what you do. Resilience is knowing that you are the only one who has the power and the ability to pick yourself up. True wisdom requires both thinking with the head and understanding with the heart. Our anxiety does not come from thinking about the future, but from wanting to control it. You are the best you have. Start by doing what's necessary, then do what's possible and suddenly you are doing the impossible. The world you desire can be one. It exists. It is real. It is possible. It's yours. If a goal is worth having, it's worth blocking out time in your daily life necessary to achieve it. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Never let yesterday consume today. We must accept finite disappointment but never lose infinite hope. You must learn to let go. Release the stress. You were never in control anyway. Opportunities don't happen. You create them. You have to fight through some bad days to earn the best days of your life. Life is just a race against time, so have fun. The starting point of all achievement is desire. If something is wrong, fix it now. But get used to not worrying. Worrying solves nothing. If you're not willing to risk the usual, you'll have to settle for the ordinary. Challenges are gifts that force us to search for a new center of gravity. Don't fight them. Simply find a new way to stand. Do not be discouraged. Often it is the last key on the ring that opens the lock. The most authentic thing about us is our capacity to create, overcome, endure, transform, love, and be greater than our suffering. You cannot protect yourself from pain without protecting yourself from happiness. Let self-improvement keep you so busy that you have no time to criticize others. Sometimes the place you're accustomed to isn't where you belong. Even if you're on the right track, you'll get run over if you just sit there. Sometimes it takes an overwhelming crisis to have an undeniable revelation. It's your reaction to adversity, not the adversity itself, that will determine how the story of your life will unfold. 
Never let your sense of morality prevent you from doing what is right. Going through challenging experiences can teach you a lot and also make you appreciate the moments that are not so challenging. Life is a series of natural and spontaneous changes. Don't resist them. That only creates sorrow. Let reality be reality. Let things flow naturally forward in whatever way they like. Failure is giving up the path, not the end of the road. Learn from failure and keep moving forward. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us. The gem cannot be polished without friction, nor the man perfected without trials. Don't watch the clock, do what it does, keep going. The time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time. You'll never find time for anything if you don't make it. A miracle is not winning the lottery. It's believing in yourself when you didn't before. You'll never find time for anything if you don't make it. A miracle is not winning the lottery. It's believing in yourself when you didn't before. Our lives are defined by opportunities, even the ones we miss. There is time for everything. If you find a path with no obstacles, it probably doesn't lead anywhere. The best view comes after the hardest climb. It always seems impossible until it's done. We can do anything we want if we stick to it long enough. Keep your fears to yourself, but share your courage with others. Look in the mirror, that's your competition. Any change, even a change for the better, is always accompanied by drawbacks and discomforts. Holding on to resentment is like drinking poison and waiting for the other person to die. The best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today. Don't waste time banging on a wall, hoping to transform it into a door. You become what you believe. Time is a created thing. Saying I don't have time is like saying I don't want to. It's the possibility of making dreams come true that makes life interesting. We must believe that we have talent for something, and that this at any cost must be achieved. Prosperity is not exempt from many fears and disasters, and adversity is not exempt from comforts and hopes. Sometimes you face difficulties not because you've done something wrong, but because you've done something right. It's better to fail in originality than to succeed in imitation. If you don't dare anything, then when the day ends, all you'll have is nothing. The only real prison is fear, and the only real freedom is freedom from fear. We should never feel hopeless because we can never be irreparably broken. When you compare the sorrows of real life with the pleasures of the imaginary world, you will never want to live again, only to dream forever. History will be kind to you because you intend to write it. Success is not overnight. It's when each day you get a little better than the day before. Sometimes you have to lose everything you have to find out who you truly are. Courage is found in unlikely places. The question is not what you look at, but what you see. Start where you are. Use what you have, do what you can. Don't stop when you're tired, stop when you're done. One of the most important accomplishments you can achieve is simply being yourself. You have to be where you are to get to where you need to go. If you fuel your journey with the opinions of others, you'll run out of gas. We are not a product of what happened to us in our past. We have the power of choice. If you wait until you're ready, you'll be waiting for the rest of your life. The only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today. Time is what we want most, but what we use worst courage is the power to let go of the familiar. Adopt the attitude of a student. Never be too big to ask questions and never know too much to learn something new. The old paths will not open new doors. Optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. Nothing can be done without hope and confidence. Only those who dare to fail greatly can achieve greatly. There comes a moment in life when you have to choose whether to turn the page, write another book, or simply close it. If your heart is broken, make art with the pieces. I hope you heal from things you were never apologized for. There is no path to peace. Peace is the path. Reputation is what others know about you. Honor is what you know about yourself. You can hold onto the road so tightly that you leave your arms too full to embrace the present. Success generally comes to those who are too busy seeking it. Fools stay on their island of opportunities and look toward another. There is no other land. There is no other life but this. Real change, lasting change, occurs step by step. Life is too short to waste your time on people who don't respect, appreciate, and value you. The human capacity to endure is like bamboo much more flexible than you'd believe at first glance. Sometimes you find yourself in the middle of chaos, and sometimes in the middle of chaos you find yourself. A goal is not always meant to be reached. It often serves simply as something to aim at. Where there is ruin, there is hope for a treasure. The mind is not a vessel to be filled, but a fire to be kindled. 
I survived because the fire inside me burned brighter than the fire around me. Our wounds are often the openings into the best and most beautiful part of ourselves. Adversity is like a strong wind. It tears away from us all but the things that cannot be torn, so that we see ourselves as we really are. The size of your dreams must always exceed your current capacity to achieve them. If your dreams don't scare you, they are not big enough. Everything you want is on the other side of fear. Forgive yourself for your faults and your mistakes and move on. When you accept yourself, the whole world accepts you. Get out of the story that's holding you back and into the new story you're willing to create. At the end of the day, there are no excuses, no explanations, no regrets. You have within you right now everything you need to deal with whatever the world can throw at you. Beware of the stories you tell yourself about your current circumstances. A mind full of negative thoughts has no room for positive thoughts. Strong people have a strong sense of self-worth and self-awareness. They don't need the approval of others. If there were nothing wrong in the world, there wouldn't be anything for us to do. Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. It's not the mountain we conquer but ourselves. Waiting is painful, forgetting is painful, but not knowing what to do is the worst kind of suffering. You will never change your life until you change something you do daily. I never change. I simply become more myself. The more we value things outside our control, the less control we have. All successful people start with two beliefs. The future can be better than the present, and I have the power to make it so. There is hope even when your brain tells you there isn't. You only fail when you stop trying. Adventure may hurt you, but monotony will kill you. Perhaps the path that frightens you most is the one you need to take. Sometimes moving forward just means moving on. It's a superhuman achievement. We must be willing to let go of the life we plan to have the life that is waiting for us. If you don't like the road you're walking, start paving another one. Adversity is not a detour. It's part of the path. Adversity has the effect of awakening talents that in prosperous circumstances would have remained dormant. Never lose hope. Storms make people stronger and never last forever. Don't let yesterday take up too much of today. Someday is not a day of the week. Don't follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. You don't have to see the whole staircase, just take the first step. Tough times may have kept you down, but they won't last forever. When all is said and done, you will be strengthened. Never limit your vision of life by any past experience. Action may not always bring happiness, but there is no happiness without action. How much you can learn when you fail determines how far you will go in achieving your goals. Every adversity, every failure, and every heartache carries with it the seed of an equivalent or greater benefit. It's a sign of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. The things you do for yourself are gone when you are gone, but the things you do for others remain as your legacy. Not being heard is no reason for silence. If you want to be happy, set a goal that commands your thoughts, liberates your energy, and inspires your hopes. You can waste your lives drawing lines or you can live them crossing. No matter how much suffering you've gone through, you never wanted to let go of those memories. Move on your way just as it exists only through your walking. The art of living lies less in eliminating our problems than in growing with them. Life is not something you own. It is something you participate in. What you get by reaching your goals is not as important as what you become by reaching your goals. The mind is everything you think you become. On the other side of a storm is the strength that comes from having navigated through it. Hoist your sail and start. Life can only be understood backward, but it must be lived forward. You can have it all, just not all at once. Go as far as you can see. When you get there, you'll be able to see further than ever before. Return is what makes life so sweet. Although the world is full of suffering, it is also full of overcoming. The first step to getting somewhere is deciding you're not going to stay where you are. Be brave to stand for what you believe in, even if you're standing alone. Change is never painful. Only resistance to change is painful. Everything can be taken from a man but one thing. The last of the human freedoms to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances. Difficulties are meant to awaken, not to discourage. The human spirit grows strong through conflict. Finding the lesson behind every adversity will be the most important thing that will help you overcome it. Dreams happen when you're asleep. Hope happens when you're awake. The pain you've been feeling can't compare to the joy that's coming. Life is not about having good cards, but about playing well a bad hand. Fear is just excitement in need of an attitude adjustment. We don't see things as they are. We see them as we are. Adversity introduces a man to himself. 
Adversity. If the path is beautiful, let us not ask where it leads. All that we are is the result of all that we have thought. The task ahead of you is never greater than the strength within you. Time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time. Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. There are far, far better things ahead than any we leave behind. The future is always beginning now. Your best self has been waiting all your life. Don't keep it waiting any longer. A secret of success in life is for a man to be ready for his opportunity when it comes. There is meaning in every journey that is unknown to the traveler. Don't carry your mistakes with you. Instead, place them under your feet and use them as stepping stones to rise above them. Once you realize you deserve a bright future, letting go of your dark past is the best decision you will ever make. People are as happy as they decide to be. At some point, you have to divorce yourself from doing things that other people want from you. The road to success and the road to failure are almost exactly the same. Wake up determined. Go to bed satisfied. It is always too early to give up. Growing is losing some illusions in order to acquire others. You're always one decision away from a totally different life. Try not to become a man of success, but rather a man of value. Of all the sad words of tongue or pen, the saddest are could have been. You cannot find peace by avoiding life. Start prioritizing your mental health over adapting to toxic spaces. If you don't have the strength to impose your own terms upon life, then you must accept the terms it offers you. The farther you are, the more you can see the big picture. You have a broader view with less emotional confusion. The best thing you can do for society is take care of yourself first. Even if you've been treated badly, don't become bitter or treat others poorly. You can't make people love you like you love them. The regret of not putting others first who don't put you first makes life painful. When you come out of the storm, you won't be the same person who walked in. It's most important to look forward. The past is your anchor. Life is a succession of lessons that must be lived to be understood. Before starting a new chapter, the previous one must end. Tell yourself that what's past will never return. Nothing is irreplaceable. A habit is not a necessity. No matter how many people surround you, you'll always be alone. It depends on you to rise and move forward. When driving through darkness, you can only see as far as the headlights shine. But you can make the entire journey that way. In the end, everything will be okay. If it's not okay, it's not the end. If it makes you nervous, you're doing it right. What a wonderful thought it is that some of the best days of our lives haven't happened yet. There's only one thing more painful than learning from experience, and that's not learning from experience. At any given moment, we have two choices, to step forward into growth or to step back into safety. Big dreams require healthy habits, and healthy habits require self-discipline. If you stay positive in a negative situation, you win. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. Take a deep breath. It's just a bad day, not a bad life. Fall seven times, stand up eight. If you believe it will work, you'll see opportunities. If you believe it won't, you'll see obstacles. Change is scary because known challenges and pain are easier to accept than unknowns. Don't be afraid to do things by yourself. Waiting for others will make you miss out on some wonderful things in life. Forget about trying to change people. Change yourself, or change your environment, or both. Never give up on what you really want to do. The person with big dreams is more powerful than the one with all the facts. Eventually, you'll realize that no one else has a voice in your life unless you allow it. Your life becomes meaningful in exact proportion to the depth of the responsibility you're willing to take on. Seek first to understand, then to be understood. Strong souls have emerged from suffering. The most massive characters are marked with scars. Always prioritize your transformation over your current self. Don't cling to anyone, not even your dearest. Each person is a prison and also a hiding place. The main trick to making good mistakes is not to hide them, especially not from yourself. Life improves when health becomes your top priority. The more seriously you take yourself, the unhappier you'll be. The energy we spend complaining can be redirected to act on change. When we take responsibility, we leave victim mode and move forward. Enjoy what you can and ignore the rest. Let's not waste energy fighting against things beyond our control. Accept what the present moment contains as if you chose it. Always work with it, not against it. Make it your friend and ally, not your enemy. This will miraculously transform your entire life. Sometimes letting things go is an act of much greater power than defending or holding on to them. Sometimes the place you're accustomed to is not where you belong. Change the person in the mirror, and your world will change. You can waste your life drawing lines, or you can live your life crossing them. 
Just because you hate this chapter doesn't mean you'll hate the whole story. Like a tree, let go of dead leaves. What we most fear doing is usually what we most need to do. One of my greatest life lessons is that we heal at the speed of our most important forgiveness. More important than the ability to choose what's right is the strength to walk away from what's wrong. You can't be lonely if you like the person you're alone with. Our suffering is caused by holding on to how things could have been. Your wound is not your fault, but your healing is. Close. Some doors today are closed not out of pride, incapacity, or arrogance, but simply because they don't lead you anywhere. The things you consider yours possess you much more than you possess them. Much suffering and unhappiness arise when you take every thought that comes to your mind as truth. We cannot simply sit and stare at our wounds forever. We must rise and move forward with the next action. The journey towards your success always begins with the small step of taking a chance. Ruining your life trying to make everyone happy is futile. The good life is not immune to sadness, but in it, suffering contributes to our development. Sacrifice today for the improvement of tomorrow. Are you willing to pay those dues with pain? Because pain is just a message when you're fixing something inadequate in your life. Trust only someone who can see these three things in you. The sadness behind your smile, the love behind your anger, and the reason behind your silence. If your absence doesn't affect them, your presence never mattered. A denied expectation hurts more than a denied hope, while a fulfilled hope makes us happier than a fulfilled expectation. The point of discussion is not to defeat each other, but to understand each other. Life is 10% what happens to us and 90% how we react to it. I guess it all boils down to a simple choice. Either truly live or be busy dying. If you try to break a habit, don't tell yourself that this is the last time you'll do it. Instead, say it's the first time you won't. Beware of small expenses, a small leak will sink a great ship. Never compare your life to others. They may seem better than yours, but they have problems you've never heard of. If they don't have what you want, don't listen to what they say. There's no greater waste of time than justifying yourself to people who have a life you don't desire. Keep your affairs to yourself. Stay away from idiots. Stupidity is contagious. Not everything in this world should be your problem. Some things just aren't your concern. Focus on the issues that directly affect you, and you'll be much happier that way. Your worth is not determined by someone else's inability to see your worth. Life can only be understood backward, but it must be lived forward. Don't ignore a problem you see coming from afar. That foresight is a gift. Those who laugh at themselves never run out of things to laugh at. Decision-making like coffee needs a cooling-off period. Don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds you plant. Work for a cause, not for applause. Live life to express, not to impress. What consumes your mind controls your life. If it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. Admit when you're wrong. Stay silent when you're right. When you realize you deserve better, letting go will be the best decision. Always know the difference between what you're getting and what you deserve. The greatest reward for one's work is not what one gets, but what one becomes. Thanks to it, clocks show the time and time shows people. Healing doesn't mean the damage never existed. It means that damage no longer controls your life. Recognizing that you're not where you want to be is a starting point for changing your life. Try to get what you love, otherwise you'll have to love what you have. Your education is never complete. Decide to live fully and learn continually. Let pain visit you. Allow it to teach you. But don't let it stay too long. If you can find paths without obstacles, they probably don't lead anywhere. Obstacles are not roadblocks. They are traffic signs. Choosing comfort over discomfort does not lead to a comfortable life. If you liked our video, give it a like, subscribe, and comment so that YouTube knows that this type of content helps people like you and we can continue to create more similar videos in the future.